what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i am here to give y'all the tea on what's going on in these streets baby and it's messy go ahead and hit that subscribe button and support your girl so as y'all can see here we got scrappy and chaotic they recently did their own tv show on now that's tv called pick a side but i ain't here to talk about chaotic i'm here to talk about scrappy honey so the messy messy news in the street is scrappy got a baby on the way so here we have the contestant who won she was after scrappy and she ended up winning and they end up trying to see where their relationship can go or whatnot so she's saying that they end up having a entanglement should i say with another one of her friends she goes by the name big eyes okay that's what they named her but they end up having a entanglement with one of her friends and she ended up pregnant and wanted to keep the baby and Scrappy is mad at Big Eyes because she said it's your friend you need to get her to have an abort. Take a listen. I finger down if you were on a Now That's TV show and you won the show and you and the guy who you won the show with decided that y'all were going to see where things went, date, and potentially get serious. But another finger down if you were at his house one day and decided that you wanted to invite your friend over so we can all get lit. And he tells you to have her Uber to a gas station and you pick her up from the gas station just so she doesn't have his physical address. But another finger down if y'all were vibing, turning up, getting lit, and y'all all mutually decide to have a threesome. And then a month later, after having that threesome that you brought your friend into, she calls and tells you that she's pregnant and by the guy that you're talking to. Put another finger down if now he's gaslighting you into thinking that it's your fault and you're the cause of this and you need to now handle the situation and talk your friend out of having a baby that he does not want. A mess, a mess, okay? Why would you even want to have a baby with a man that you don't know, ain't going to have a family with, barely going to be around to be a father to your child, and if she looking for child support from scrap, she ain't going to get much. You hear what I'm saying? I would never have a baby by a man who don't even want the baby or don't even want me to know where he live. I don't know. These chicks nowadays are thirsty for a come up if you ask me. Now, a lot of people saying that she's lying about being pregnant because a lot of women don't find out if they're pregnant until about six weeks. So she's saying within a month she already knows she's pregnant. I don't know, child. All I know is if Scrappy got a baby on the way, a mess it's gonna be you hear what i'm saying but for this girl right here big eyes to say that she had a entanglement with scrappy like what did he do to earn that entanglement like really though so y'all just out here having entanglements all willy-nilly <laughs> But she done got read for filth after she done put this video out to the world letting everybody know that she had an entanglement with Scrappy and got the other chick pregnant. Everybody has been reading this girl saying, did y'all use protection? You know, this is nasty. Did y'all go to the clinic? I mean, they was just coming for her in the comments left and right. So she responded. Cannot go and answer. Yes, we used protection. The only thing was, was that in the mail, I had to leave because I had to go get my daughter. My daughter comes first. So I left her there only off the strength that I knew that she was going back home the next day. And because me and him were talking, I trust him. So a month goes by and we get a phone call that she's pregnant. I call him and I ask him what happened after I left. And that's when he proceeds to say that he was so drunk and high, he don't remember anything that happened after I left. A 
mess okay why would you leave your friend there to go home the next day why you couldn't just take her home that just don't make sense to me. I don't know. I don't know. It's something fishy about this story. I am waiting for Scrappy to respond. And when he do, I will be posting it, okay? But listen, Scrappy was just seen back with Bambi. After these two went through a whole bunch of drama, they disliked each other. They said they can't stand each other, will never deal with each other. And come to find out, these two are back hanging together as if everything was cool. Now, somebody said Erica done kicked Scrappy back to the curb, so that's why he done ran back over here to Bambi. I don't know, I don't know, but I do know Scrappy is a hot mess. Okay, his name fits him all right but i don't know if y'all remember when scrappy posted this video on how much he just couldn't stand bambi you know what I'm ever. only family that'll be around her that i got that's connected to me or my kids and that's, that's where that shit in that that's where that shit in that i don't i don't mess with shouter i do not talk to shouter i do not she is baby mama number two to me okay I do not, I, I'm talking about, I do not like her energy, I do not like being around her, I do not like talking to her, you feel me, so don't come on my page talking about her, because you get deleted and blocked. So now things have changed. These two are back cool. They are co-parenting. And I knew it would. I just felt like these two was at odds. And that's how it is when you first break up with somebody that you was in love with. That you was married to. You know, you just become bitter. And that's what happened with these two right here. But they have young children. You know, and they had to be in each other's lives for a long time. So I knew eventually these two were going to stop being at odds and be cool with each other. But check this live video out. One before. Oh, See, I, I knew that. she was gonna do that dumb shit. I mean, that smart shit. She always got that trying to capitalize. Baby mama number two. I'm about to say, Why are you trying to capitalize? The <laughs> fuck going on? We got three children to feed. <laughs> Man, after he dragged you. Baby. <laughs> the lies that you have told. One thing. You can never do to me is drag me. You can attempt to do it all you want to. The lies that you have told. Damn it, um, Carrie, we're fighting. We're calling. And we're trying to figure out who's going to be Scott's bestie. What day is that? Oh, Instagram. Man, I'm on Love and Hip Hop. I'm gonna pay you <laughs> to instigate. Tomatoes, tomatoes, boo. That is so corny of Bambi. Why would you wear a shirt that says, Sake it, baby mama, first wife? Girl, that ain't nothing to brag about, okay? That is nothing to brag and boast about. That is actually embarrassing and a shame. But I do like the fact that these two are back cool because, again, they do have young, young children together, you know, and to be at odds with your child's father your kids see that they know what's going on so i am you know happy to see that these two are are back cool with each other but the gag is okay loving hip-hop atlanta is filming right now and erica dropped a bomb on everybody letting them know that she was pregnant and everybody was wondering wait is it scrappy baby because these two scrappy and erica was hanging together real tight they was going on vacations together they was clubbing together i mean it was like when you seen scrappy you seen erica so everybody is saying wait is erica pregnant by scrappy I don't know. I'm waiting for the show to come out because I want to know myself. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about Scrappy allegedly having another baby on the way, honey. A mess. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Support your girl. And come on back for more. And I'm out, y'all. Bye. Hospital. They uh, admitted me. As y'all know, a lot of stuff is going on with my son. And this is, y'all see? So, I'm gonna show y'all the. This is my blood pressure.
So Mama D not doing so well, but I'll be fine. I'm a fighter. Okay? <clears throat> it's just sometimes with life, you, it's just too much. Sometimes stuff can be too much. You know, sometimes when, when God deliver you out of one evil, I don't understand why people will walk into another one. I just, I don't get it and I don't understand. I just, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm just tired. When I was young, I fucked up. I did not listen to my mom or my dad. But when I bumped my head, I listened because I had a bump on my freaking head. I don't understand when someone makes mistakes, they just keep making them. I just, so all the stuff y'all been hearing, I don't know um, if that's true. Um, only time will tell. Um, <clears throat> so, but I'm flesh and blood and I'm human crazy stuff, it's just, um, it's a bit much, it's a bit much, and I know I'm a very strong person, but I'm flesh and blood, and I'm human, I can't take all that, it's too much, it's too much, thank you, yeah, thank you for your prayers, so, they're trying to see, even, I'm talking very good right now. They're trying to see if I had a light stroke. Oh, 